we will we will see now chopping one turn with the worker and letting it like this it's gonna make the chop faster the chop we're taking too much time I think we're taking too much fucking time let's scout more there now this is a city okay I'll plant the furthest away one first and the reason is the culture thing I said earlier we're really close to the end so I'll just let it no let's just plant the city who cares okay now it's three turns instead of two well we get two turns of city economy now yeah working this one is good because the capital is not working it but at some point I will be needing the capital to work this because it's gold and I prefer working all my gold with the capital instead of other cities because the capital gets the tradition gold bonus and I usually build for that reason a trading company in my capital now let's scout more shoot uh, let's heal for one turn let's get him there and chop now this is the last of our settlers and if you have a queue on granary like this you won't get informed that the final settler is done and your city will starve like how mine is going to starve now uh, you never want that also not only will it starve it will lose one citizen the turn it starves which is the which is probably one of the worst possible outcomes for a starving city I mean if you're starving um, if you want to starve if you're starving by choice Wait, where are we growing next time? Well, I have cotton, so why would I settle there? I want an economically good settle. This one seems to be one. Even though it's not on a river. Well, what if I settle on incense? Yeah, this is my settle. and let's go on the cotton well I don't have calendar now so I should have gotten here to get on the ship okay we lost one turn with that worker now we lost one turn there that means we lost one food for one turn a total of one food it's just that if you don't manage your workers well you lose, uh, you lose economy that's what I'm trying to say Zeus is built. Fuck. Um, food. Well, I think we're getting enough culture that we're going to be able to take this one before currency is finished, as I was saying. Now, let's move this one here. Let's move this one here. This one here. Okay. What do, we, what do we gain from this settle? Uh, we have access to fresh water. We gain almost all our guaranteed strategic resources. Uh, we gain a plus two gold on our uh, settle. The reason I'm refusing is I'm too bored to uh, try to understand why he's doing that. Now, what the fuck am I working? We should be working this one. And, yeah. Now, hanging gardens is what I would be building now, usually. 
but I prefer a library to a water mill and let us be working this ship for the extra faith. Plus 10 a turn. Now we are unhappy. We can get a little bit of happiness by getting this one. But... Yeah. We are unhappy. It is true. So that means we shouldn't be working food anymore. We should be working production. This one is a good production tile. This one is a good production tile. This one is kind of okay. Let's try this one instead of this one. Well, one food or one faith? I think one faith. When you are unhappy, you should be reallocating your production tiles. But most of the time, I'm too bored to do that. You should be reallocating all your tiles to full production. Well, this one is for faith. I prefer that. I would like to get a uh, Pantheon. Well, he, he grew here. And this one is a strictly better tile than this one. But production focus for some reason prefers heals to ship. I don't know why. It is stupid. <coughs> okay. Well, you're doing correctly. Okay, we, 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 need, we need the happiness. And then we go for currency. For now we need the fucking happiness. You see, rushing strategies don't work. Because you really need to do normal shit like build four cities. And rushing Petra doesn't, doesn't work. You need to, to go at it at your no normal pace. Uh, rushing any kind of wonder is a bad idea. Now, we are unhappy because of that. We're losing, uh, we're losing um, population because we want Petra. We will never gain enough population from Petra to actually justify this move, this rush of Petra that, that made us be unhappy. Now what are you building? You're building a library or a shrine. You're building a water mill. I think the water mill here is the best acceleration. Well, we're not good at gold. We're not good with gold right now. So let's build a library. But we're gonna have gold from literally this tile when we work it. So here we're just waiting for the sugar, but that doesn't mean we can't put one turn in a farm here. So this turn, this turn in this farm stays. Uh, it remembers that it was building a farm there forever. So Vilnius had the quest. Okay, we, we stood lucky with the happiness now. Because Vilnius had a quest uh, for happy, happy stuff. Now this is the most food. I don't have anything with three food, but even if I did, two food, two production and one faith is probably way better. And I think we should be doing this one. Instead. Even if this one is really good, and I agree that it is really good, I prefer the gold for a bit in the beginning because of the too many roads we, we're gonna be building and workers and stuff like that it's a bit of science it's not good losing science oh we're happy now for some reason oh we settled on incense, correct I remember that now for that exact reason we settled on incense for happiness 
and now we got it we got the happiness so yeah working the food again here is good food here is good food is good thank you food is very good man come on okay this is a good start a lot of uh, desert um water mill what is he building a water mill then A lot of happiness means a lot of uh, growth. And the kind of growth we're doing is the, the best kind of growth. Look at this. We're growing to more f good tiles. When you're growing to good tiles, everything is good. Yeah, sure. Oh, you see? He built a uh, city here. If I hadn't gotten the citrus within range, he might have built a city closer to here. Now I need to gather gold for this shit. That's why I, I like gold, that's why I prefer it to a lot of other stuff. Now this one is a good tile, we'll be working this one, this tile. And... Did we finish with that? Oh, okay. So we're building a worker. We, we have the opportunity to build a caravan. Yeah, let's build a caravan. It's a good one, it's a good opportunity. Uh, I'm investing too, too much of my soul in this game. <laughs> That's what always happens with me and civilization. This one grew, but we prefer this tile. This one grew. I don't know if we prefer any other tile. Well, we have a lot of food. If we work this one, it grows one turn earlier and we lose uh, six turns of gold and it will grow to here. Three turns of gold, so we lose three, six gold for three food. I think that's an exact match. Yeah, that's an exact match. It's one for one. Um, one food is worth two gold, one production is worth four, th four gold. One production is worth four gold. Now this one is probably not going to be done next turn. Um, in two turns. Now is it? No, it's gonna be done in two turns. Yeah, it is. Um. So I can take this and put it here. We still grow and we get extra food. I can take this and put it here. We'll sti we still grow and get extra production. Now we care about our production. I can put this here. We don't grow. If I put this here, we grow. Well, then that is the only choice we have. That is the only spot we put it in. Oh, but he can work this one. As we predicted, uh, the second city being able to work the Petra City's non-Petra tiles. Hmm. But we like gold. Well, in two turns we're gonna have it, as it seems. And he's going there. He should fortify. Nice. We have it now. We have what? We can buy citrus. We can get the wonder production bonus and try Petra in nine turns. Now we don't need to be growing, so we can get uh, we can lose some food and give it to production here. This one gives one production. This one gives one production too. But as we said earlier, three gold, four gold is equivalent to one production. And two gold is equivalent to one food. So this one, we can call this one a three food, one production. We can take two gold and make them one food. And then it's one gold more and one faith more. 
Um, the equivalency I'm talking about is just based on the fact that um, in general if you don't improve stuff, if you leave stuff like they are and if you don't do too many extra um, multiplications, every two food that one citizen consumes, you can have a normal uh, two food, one production tile. Uh, you can build a farm here and this is a two food, one production tile and after a citizen is born, he consumes the two food and he leaves one production here like this. So this is where I, where my numbers come from, two food is one production. Because with that two food you can uh, ramp up the production, it's, it's not a very difficult calculation. I'm making it sound more difficult than it actually is. And I'm sorry for that. Okay, so... Okay, I don't care for stuff anymore. If we manage to get Petra, it's the end of the guide. Uh, 50 turns probably is gonna be the name of the, of the thingy. Now, what you usually want to do is put your caravans either to your capital or to one of your cities. We are Morocco. And we get stuff from sending caravans elsewhere. Now, if we send to Akkad, we gain three science and five gold. And he gains one science and one gold. Let's do that for now. Just because he's Babylon. Also, we gain two culture from trades and one gold and four gold from trades. What? Sorry, excuse me. Uh, one culture and three gold in general, and then one for its era. What era are we in? We are in the ancient era. Oh, we are in the classical, I'm sorry. I am sorry. Uh, so then our preferred thing to do is go guilds, just to get that one extra product, uh, one extra culture and gold, and we can build Machu Picchu in Rabat. This would be what we will do in case we were going to continue this game but after I get Petra I'm stopping this game well I think that's a, it's a proof of concept game um, the religion I would pick here would be the 15% bonus production that's the most competitive one in my opinion in the multiplayer and then you can pick this one if you're playing piety but Piety again is, Tithe again is probably the most competitive one. You can choose Defender of Faith, I like that one too. It's, uh, it's worth a lot in the long run and in the short run. Especially if you're uh, surrounded by Liberty, by Liberty players. Uh, this was six turns, it became five. I didn't see, I didn't say anything. I didn't notice it until the end of the turn. And the reason it became 5 is we got a production boost from religion, 4%. It's not much, but if, you're, if you min-max your production, as you see, as you guys can see, we decided to take 2 production instead of 1. Um, we thought it wouldn't matter, but in the end it did matter. It changed uh, the turns which Petra is done. We can take one more production here, but it doesn't change the turns. So I'll leave it like that, because I really like the Golden Faith from the tile. And after we get Petra, we have the proof of concept. Morocco can work as a tradition, Patronas. Now we send one out, but when we unlock Patronas, we're, we're going to start sending from the capital to city-states, and then from other cities to other city-states probably, or something like that. Now, this is a glorious Petra dream. Glorious Petra dream. I'm gonna reallocate the tiles and then I'm gonna close it. So, the ship are the obvious choices. <laughs> There's six, six, ti uh, six yield strong tiles with one faith. And then, this one is a bad tile. Right now, this tile is bad. And the reason is we need the maximum amount of food we can get, because food 
makes us work more Petra tiles. We get 15 food at the beginning of the game. What am I not working? And I'm not working my bison. Take this. Wow. Beautiful start. And we have another trade route to send. It will change our culture by plus 4, plus 2, and our gold by plus 4. Beautiful. Morocco is, uh, is really strong. A lot of people underestimate Morocco. How much is this? It's 21. Now another calculation where you're between building a mint or a market. Usually the market is a lot better. But uh, there is merit in calculating which one is better. So for instance, if I had uh, three coppers that I was uh, working and let's say three desert coppers, that means the mint would be a plus six gold and the market would go to plus one, send the gold to 22 and then multiply it by 25%, by 1.25, which is added 25%, which is a plus, how much is it for 25? Plus 5.5. .5. And the one gold from the market is 6.5. So even if we had two coppers in our capital, still the market would be the superior.